Hello everybody, Jeffrey Kruger here. What you're looking at is a solid mass here that's been properly heat treated, ground and lapped, and graduated here. It's a it's a beautiful tool. It's a six inch direct reading cylinder square. And uh, the surface that you see right here on the top, um, this cylinder can be flipped around 180 degrees and put in contact with this. Right now it's on a grade A inspection grade granite surface plate. And this surface here flipped around up against the granite plate, this cylinder would be perfectly square as a square reference all the way around the whole cylinder. But the surface that's in contact with the surface plate now has a slight angle on it. The reason for that angle is when something is out of square and you want to put it up against the cylinder square and look for any daylight shining through and you want to turn it till you have no daylight shining through to see how square your block or whatever piece you're checking, you have, uh, it's going to be out of square one way or the other. So how this works is you have the zero reference here, as you can see, with a dotted line coming down just like this. Then you have two tenths of a thousandth of an inch out of square, four tenths of a thousandth of an inch out of square, six, eight, there's one thousandths of an inch out of square, and there's maximum tilt one way, one thousandth of an inch and two tenths of a thousandth of an inch out of square. Then you have it referencing back to the other zero point. There's your one, your eight, your six, your four, two, and then your zero, your second reference point of squareness and then you have your maximum tilt going the other way. It's very, very, very simple and very precise. This was made to eliminate the possibility of any errors such as if you use the procedure with a parallel bar and an indicator against another reference. Um, this eliminates any mechanical error. So this is a very accurate and very wonderful tool, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and have an excellent day.